There we go. Right. Ah, got the camera all set up. Howdy, everybody. This is Mustang. Um, I'm on my way just to Patrick's Point on another road trip. And I just got bored and decided to make a video. Ah, nope. There you go. Oh, there you go. Decided to make a video. Yes. Uh, I don't know. I was just having random thoughts on the road and uh, was patching a uh, orange orchard. And that got me thinking, and I wanted to get your guys' thoughts on this too. It was like thinking about a, a story. I, I, I'm not a good writer. Um, I, don't care. I don't know. And uh, I was thinking someone would be cool if somebody could uh, write it or uh, if anyone would get ideas or maybe a collaboration of the group could come up with something. But, uh, or maybe there's already something out there of this story. But um, I, I was just thinking, you know, uh, of Applejack. And during the, um, the episode where, not where they switched all key marks, where they were uh, receiving their key marks in season one. I can't call the, call the episode for the name of it. But uh, during that episode, Applejack, as you guys know, uh, left the Apple family to go to Manhattan to uh, go see her uh, uncle, uh, aunt and uncle Orange up in Manhattan. Which is ironic because I'm going to go see my, I'm see my aunt and uncle right now. I'm excited. Um, but I was just thinking about that and I was like, you know what? What if she never returned back to the farm? You know, um... You know, she grew up in a city that was, uh, uh, like a higher class type of way, you know. And I started thinking this, thinking, you know, that might be possible, you know, because as we've seen in the past, Applejack's been really prideful. Um, and because of that, she's stubborn on her ways. Now, what if she stayed in Manhattan and her stubborn ways made it so she would stay there until she proved herself to be successful. Now, think of a story where it doesn't take place as a filly, where she takes place as an adult like herself or now. And what if she never got her cutie mark? She stayed in Manhattan, lived a normal life. I don't, I don't know what jobs. I mean, like, probably as, um, as a, a clerk of some sort, you know? But... Let's say that, um, you know, um, to cover a key mark, she always wore dresses, you know, because she's in Manhattan, you know, of a higher class, you know, they're always going to be, like, more boys and, and, and stuff like that, so no one really knew, or at least that would be her biggest secret kept, you know, um, but she never got it because she was never successful to go back to the farm because that was her calling, not her destiny, her calling that she always wanted to do, you know. I know, I think that would be a really interesting story. Like, maybe eventually you see her life uh, in this alternate universe that she takes place and then that she starts, um, you see, I wouldn't say miserable, but you know there's something missing from her life in Manhattan. You see her basic day by day, and then the plot sort of picks up, and let's say she goes back to the apple farm, um, you know, because, I don't know, visit the family, or something happens where she needs to visit Ponyville again. And because of that, she's on the farm, just, let's say she's there for like a week or so. And it'd be really interesting because Applejack would say, be on the farm, be doing chores like she would. But because she was raised in an environment where she was, uh, where she was uh, more of the clean type, more of the type to um, be neat and careful, more like a rarity type actually. Actually, it'd be funny. They'd probably be uh, uh, more best friends than they would be in this series. Um, or rival enemies, because, uh, you know, rarity might be too much in the extreme. That, and Applejack's is somewhat, I don't know. I, I think, yeah. You know, um, but it'd be cool seeing her different ways. So she'd be at the farm. She'd be struggling at first. Or successful. I don't know. Um, and she would definitely have this, um, uh, like, see it would be her calling throughout reading this but because of her attitude it prevents her from and you you watch her and eventually she, uh, she, the conflict could be she realizes what she wants to do she really does but she doesn't want to give up the lifestyle she has back home 
you know, and maybe an epic conclusion is like, uh, and, or when she's talking about this, or she comes to this conclusion, she's talking to Big Macintosh, and you get more of a, a brother sister type relationship, like like they have. But I mean, like that we more know, you know, that the fans could create that, you know, and, and go more in depth on that, you know. They have like this moment, and she continues a couple more days there. Yeah, she's going back to Manhattan, she's full force. And then she realizes that the big city is nothing, and she goes back to the farm. And that's when she becomes the Applejack we know and love. Well, not necessarily. She has the difference is different lifestyle, you know. Sorry, not different lifestyle. I mean, different growing up a sense, a little bit different personality. But you know, she still gets her key mark. Still becomes on the farm. You know, it's the alternate universe Applejack. Um, excuse me. Sorry about that. So yeah, um, I don't know, uh, what's everybody's opinion on this? I think it'd be a, a fun write, um, or anything, maybe, uh, a video, I'm not sure. Um, but yeah, post your, uh, comments below, and, um, I'll get back to you guys in part two, part three, I don't know, we'll see how this goes on the videos. Um, talk to you later.